what can I say other than it's been too long. Uh, anyway, it's Dexter and me back with a pre-Christmas video for your uh, delight, delectation and probably frustration to be honest. Um, anyway, I've been literally inundated with a request to um, show you my Fujifilm GFX 50R RAW file post-processing techniques. So I thought I cannot ignore such demand and, um, and make one. Uh, so just the other day, uh, Dexter and I and my daughter, we went down to uh, Dunraven Bay on the Glamorgan Heritage Coast to take a picture. Now, it wasn't ideal. Uh, it was showery, it was rainy, uh, but I wanted to take a new picture for this exercise. So down you went anyway and rattled off a couple of shots. Uh, I'll put my favourite one up right now uh, which is the one that's gone on my Instagram and my 500 pics um, but that's not the picture we're going to develop uh, we, we're going to develop another really nice one uh, looking out uh, over the sort of uh, the pavement on the bay there the rocky pavement uh, into the the setting uh, sun as it were not that it made much of an appearance um, anyway as I've always said uh, I am really really happy with the Fujifilm GFX raw files and I don't really have to touch them that much at all. Uh, and this one is no different, uh, as you will see when we get into uh, actually making um, the video. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop over to a uh, screen recording of my Mac as I go through and um, do the post-processing. Uh, for those of you interested, it's the latest model 27-inch 5K iMac. Uh, with the base processor but I have upgraded the RAM to 24 gigabytes so it runs a little bit qu quicker on um, Lightroom and Photoshop now uh, and all my raw files are stored on an external Samsung T5 SSD so I don't actually keep them on the computer itself so let's uh, hop into Lightroom and get started right then let's hop on to my uh, iMac, which is a lovely, lovely computer for um, image processing. It's got the 5K screen, which is, for me anyway, uh, fine. Uh, and open up um, Lightroom, and there's the image uh, I want to develop. Um, so this is Dunraven Bay on the Glamorgan Heritage Coast, shot with my Fujifilm GFX 50R. This is the raw file straight out of that. Uh, using the 23mm f4 prime lens which is a lovely lovely lens. Uh, camera settings were a uh, 4 second exposure f16 with an ISO of uh, 100. Uh, f16 and ISO 100 uh, are really are my sort of landscape default settings on, on the GFX. Uh, I find that they give me the best results specific, uh, especially uh, depth of field wise and sharpness wise. Right. Um, now, my post-processing workflow is quite streamlined for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I like to get things right in the field and in camera. So I'll make sure that my exposure is dialed in properly, which with a mirrorless camera is much, much easier, as you can check it in the viewfinder or on the screen. And I will still use um, graduated filters to hold in the sky and obviously um, a neutral density filter to slow my exposure down in this instance uh, and secondly uh, the second reason for my streamlined workflow is, is that I only have the tools I absolutely need set up here on the right hand side of my image um, so I'm not going to use a tone curve I'm not going to use split toning I'm not going to use lens correction transform effects or calibration um, I don't tend to use the tone curve if I'm happy with the contrast in the image which I am here anyway uh, so I'm not going to mess about with uh, highlight shadow to contrast via a tone curve I'll use the sliders I'd rather do that um, and then what I tend to do is just work my way down logically through these uh, sliders or through these tools now as you can see it's a well balanced exposure so there are no uh, block shadows no clipped highlights so I'm quite happy with that uh, what I always do though if I've shot a horizon is make sure that that horizon is dead straight. Now I did set up the tripod just so 
and I did level the camera using the GFX 50R uh, built-in uh, spirit level but still I'm going to check that it is spot on so I draw a line parallel to the horizon right across the image and yeah as you can see it hasn't moved it is it's spot on so also I'm not going to crop this image uh, I like the 4x3 um, aspect ratio that comes out with the GFX I could crop it to get rid of these rocks here but I don't want to so I'm not going to so <laughs> there we are um, Right, that's cropping done. Right then, um, now I did use a neutral density filter in the sky, but it still hasn't really conveyed the stormy, um, dramatic feeling that was there when I took the image. So I'm going to dial in a little bit more um, darkness, if you like, to the sky. So I'll choose my graduated filter, choose the exposure slider there. Oh, I've already set it to minus one. And I will grab a point in the image, drag that line down to the horizon. Quite happy with it there. Let's darken the sky up a little bit. I'm also going to add a little bit of the dehaze tool, which really can help to um, bring out the drama in skies, I find, by uh, increasing the contrast therein. And I'll also add a little bit of saturation to the sky. Now, that really is reflecting what I saw and felt last Friday afternoon on Dunraven Bay. It's much, much more dramatic. This tool here, this tool here is the radio filter. Now, I'm not going to use this in this image, but I could if I wanted to um, highlight a certain area of the image, so I'll draw a radial tool in there and then increase the exposure or whatever I wanted to um, bring out in that area of the image uh, there. But I don't really need to do it um, with this one uh, as there's nothing really in the foreground shouting out for highlighting, if you like, or um, or, or any further processing. The brush tool we'll come back to later. Right. Profiles I don't tend to use. I just leave it at, as Adobe Color. White balance. I set the camera to a Kelvin of 4,900 to shoot this image, but it's not warm enough for me. So I'm going to drag it over to about 5,500. Again, just to bring out that late afternoon, uh, late winter, early winter, midwinter, whatever you want to call it, sunset feel. Um, that makes it a little bit warmer, uh, which I prefer. Right, I'm not going to touch the exposure, because it's, as I said, a well-balanced exposure in the first place. But I will eke out a little bit more contrast in the image, just about plus 10 or plus 11. Sometimes these images can look a little bit flat, um, especially with the sort of pastel shades in them and um, a week is kind of like uh, sun in the sky. So I'm going to bring out a little bit more contrast. Now also, I'm going to look down here, you can see lovely textures in the sand. The GFX sensor really, really does record a, a lovely amount of detail. So I want to increase that a fair bit there. You can see it really beginning to pop. And again, if I use the clarity tool, Bring it out a little bit further. That's really brought out the sort of uh, the detail in that sand down there, as you can see. Now I'm not going to apply any global dehazing as I did that just to the sky. Uh, Vibrance-wise, I'm going to increase that a little. Now it's a pastel image, as I said, so vibrance is going to work more than saturation. That's obviously a, a very, very dramatically saturated image, but. A bit like a, a Peter Peter Lick one, is it? Whatever his name is. Anyway, I'd rather go for a more uh, subdued look. But I am going to apply some localised saturation, especially to the orange. Maybe a little bit of red. Yeah, we are. There, yeah, that's nice. Just to bring the drama out in the sky even more. Make it a little bit more um, apocalyptic, if you like. Sharpening wise, 
Now this image is nice and sharp anyway, as you can see. But I'm going to sharpen it a little bit more, as I may want to print this at some later stage. So we'll do that, we'll do that. And also, I don't want to sharpen the whole image. I certainly don't want any sharpening in the sky, which can introduce noise. So I'm going to mask off the areas that I just want sharpen. So I'm going to hold down my Option key, drag the masking slider over to the right. So now I'm going to be sharpening those areas in white. There we go. And as obviously there's no need with it shot at ISO 100 for any um, noise reduction to be used. But as you can see, adding sharpness and contrast and some saturation has led to the shadows in these areas here being blocked out. So I'm going to grab my brush tool up here, set it to shadows, not down there, and just paint out these areas here. Just paint them out. Put a little bit more. There we go. Let's get rid of the shadows there. And that really is all the processing done in Lightroom. Now what I'm going to do now is switch over to Photoshop. So I go Photo, Edit in Adobe Photoshop. Now what I'm going to do here is what, what I like to call Border Patrol. Nothing to do with immigration and certainly nothing to do with Brexit. Um, but I'm going to go around the edges of the image just to make sure there's nothing to take the eye away from the main focal point, uh, which is this causeway leading out to the setting sun on the horizon. So I'm just going to get rid of this rock there. That's gone. And then look for any sort of bright or highlighted sort of parts around the borders of the image. And that is pretty well that. I'm really happy with that. Um, I'll pop up uh, a before and uh, after one uh, for you to see now. But that really is my Fujifilm raw file post-processing in a nutshell. Case more like. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed that. And a massive thank you to those of you who have uh, stuck with the channel while I haven't been making any videos at all. Uh, it's been for a good reason. Circumstances dictate that I haven't been able to do much. Um, but hopefully uh, productivity will increase uh, in the new year. Who can tell? Who knows? So yeah, thanks to everybody who stuck with me and thanks to all the new subscribers. Yes, there have been new ones, would you believe? Even though I haven't been making any videos. Uh, must be doing something right, I guess. Um, hopefully next year we will crack the, the 400 subscriber mark and uh, this channel can really sort of take off. Anyway, uh, at the time of filming, it is December the 22nd, so the Sunday before Christmas 2019. Uh, and therefore, before we go, I'd just like to wish you all uh, a very, very Merry Christmas. Uh, or Nadolig Llawen, as we say here in Wales, uh, if I could speak the language properly. Um, and for those of you who don't celebrate Christmas, uh, I hope you have a lovely, peaceful time of year anyway. And uh, Dexter and I will see you in 2020. <laughs>